All right. We have a question from uh, Nelson here who writes, is there a connection between God ordering the sacrifice of Isaac and the sacrifice of Jesus? Definitely. Now, I don't know how much time you want me to take on this, but we're, I'm, I'm sure we'll be because we, we were focusing on the deity of Christ. But uh, yeah. th these are all kind of kind of connected. This one's kind of loosely connected. So if you yeah. want to give a brief answer here, uh, but I'm sure we'll be spending more time on uh, on some of these issues in future live yeah. live streams. I, I think maybe in another session we'll talk about where do we find in the Hebrew scriptures a prophecy of Messiah will be raised on the third day. And that will give us time to then unpack Genesis 22 with greater depth because the lord does say in luke 24 46 and paul also agrees which he has to because he's speaking by the spirit of christ in first corinthians 15 4 that the hebrew bible prophesied messiah would be raised on the third day and one of those prophecies has to do with abraham and the binding of isaac so real quickly if you read genesis chapter 22 verse 1 or 2 i'm going to do it real quick guys i'm speaking fast because we want to talk about the incarnation though this is loosely connected in Genesis 22, verses 1 and 2, note the point of similarity between Isaac and Jesus. Mm -hmm. Isaac said to be Abraham's only begotten son. In the Hebrew, it's Yachid, only son whom he loves. Mm -hmm. New Testament, Jesus is God's one and only son, his only begotten son whom he loves. Interestingly, the Greek word that John uses to denote Jesus' unique relationship to the Father is monogenes. Monogenes, only begotten. John 1.14, John 1.18, write these down, guys, I'm going fast. John 1, 14, John 1, 18, John 3, 16, John 3, 18, and 1 John 4, 9. Those passages, Jesus is called monogenes. Isaac is called monogenes in Hebrews 11, 17, uh, Hebrews 11, 17. So here's that similarity. Isaac, Jesus, their father's only begotten beloved son. Another point of similarity. Isaac carried the wood that would be used to pretty much sacrifice him. If you go to Genesis 22... And you read verse 6, it says, Isaac carried the wood. John 19, verse 17, Jesus carried the wood, the instrument of his crucifixion, the cross. That's another similarity. It says that Abraham arrived at his destination, which is one of the mountains in Moriah, on the third day. Genesis 22, 4, on the third day. And that was the day that Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac. And so in a sense, and this is how Hebrews 11 17 to 19 reasons. Abraham thought Isaac was as good as dead, but he trusted God to bring back Isaac to him to keep his promise concerning Isaac. So he assumed that God would raise him back to life. And Hebrew says he did receive him back from the dead, figuratively speaking. But notice what day he received him back from the dead. The third day. What day did God the Father receive his only begotten son, his beloved, back from the dead? The third day. So anyway, for the sake of time, I'll stop there. But Lord willing, in a future session, we'll go really in-depth on Genesis 22. It's mind-boggling and other examples that point to a third-day resurrection of the Messiah. Mm -hmm.